On the morning of Christmas Eve, we witnessed a Christmas miracle. It was snowing really hard in Denmark and my nephews wanted to build a snowman, so we went to the nearby park. It's a bigger, bigger, as big as Dante. Yeah, a snow Dante. No, a snowman. Sam. Lagyan mo siya ng buhok, mga sticks, ano? Yay! Wow! Snowball fight! Snowball fight! Snow <laughs> Snowball fight! No. Hey, Sam. Whoa, that's a huge ball. <laughs> My brother-in-law was supposed to head somewhere else right after he dropped us off the park. But it looks like he had a change of plans. Look at that. He's really a snow angel. He's a snowman. You're going to enjoy it. <laughs> wow, guys, I'm saya. Thinking of branches, my snow. <laughs> The last time I played in the snow was two decades ago, and I was around the age of my nephews. So I'm really happy that this time around, I can enjoy winter as an adult. My inner child is definitely happy. <laughs> the cold never bothered me anyway. <laughs> Let it go, let it go, can't hold it, let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore, let it go, let it go, turn away and slam the door. Cold never bothered me anyway. Actually, it never bothered me, I'm not going to be able to get it. Wow, guys! May nakita kaming taong naka Santa Claus. Tapos nabigay siya ng candy. <laughs> Medyo sketchy candy. pala yun. A stranger. Tapos binigay tayo ng candy. Para umunaan tayo ng candy. kami. So, ito. Manalaman natin kung makakatulog ba ako sa candy <laughs> na nabigay ng stranger. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
ikot, yung ikot, mami. Ikot mo si Lola. Wow! I wanted my nephews to know more about the Philippines, so I got them a kalesa and a tricycle. My sister is sentimental like me, so I got her a five-year journal from High Fashion IG. Love it! So it's perfect. perfect. Okay. It's perfect. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! Thank you. 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 Explain what is there. It's a house. Yes. That's, what is this? That's my mom. Your mom. Oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. Papa, it's Inside the house. house. Inside the house. <laughs> One New Year's tradition in Denmark is to watch the Queen's speech at 6 p.m. Here is my sister translating it for us. Ang galing! Ambassador How do you say this good nitar? Good nitar. Good new R. Good new R. Tama. Go. 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 New R. Oh. Go new R. Pa paano makasabing masaya? Go new R. Go new R. Happy New Year. Manigayang bagong taon. Go new R. Go new R. Ay masagat. Masagat. Manigo. Manigo. Cheers for our year. What are you wearing? I'm wearing goggle glasses. For protection? Yeah. I have tears. We're going to find a happy new year. Yeah, I'm wearing a same headband like you. Yeah, but with with a new year 
Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy, New Year. Happy, New Year. Happy, Happy almost New Year! I think these are two, two yeah. from the same shop. Pinatakpan namin yung candle kasi <laughs> Star City siya. <laughs> Last month na lang yan. <laughs> Yay! Happy New Year! Dante! Hold this, hold this. Hold it. Wow! Linda! Linda! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> word that I've come across a lot of times here in Denmark. It's hygge, which roughly translates to coziness. For different people, hygge can mean different things. It can be cozying up in bed to watch a movie, or enjoying the warm glow of the fire pit. For us, Hugga is wearing ugly sweaters and fuzzy socks and dancing on the carpet and singing our hearts out not caring whether we're in tune or not. Hugga is being with family, enjoying every second together, basking in the now. 